name is Dan Tonics, and I'm a NASA astronaut here in Houston, Texas, at the Johnson Space Center. And welcome to the Mission Control Center. Uh, I know that you're here to learn more about the final mission of the Space Shuttle, uh, mission STS-135 on Atlantis. And uh, it was my honor and privilege to fly on the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Uh, that's the vehicle that brought me home from the space station about three years ago on uh, STS-122 to uh, reach out and touch my, my Irish friends and uh, give you my greetings from, from Houston. Thank you very much. I've also had the honor and pleasure of flying the other two space shuttles. Uh, 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 training aircraft. Uh, uh, the shuttles are new characters with experiments, equipment, and supplies for the International Space Station. The STS-1000. They too saw the astronauts take turns driving one of the M113 from the station near the launch complex when they lift off. In the unlikely event of an emergency, the astronauts would climb inside the M113 to drive away from danger. The crew got an up close look at Atlantis as it stood on launch pad 39A on the third day of TCDT. It included a detailed walk down of a cargo bay where they saw their primary payload, a Raffaello Multipurpose Logistics Module, or MPLM. They worked with the station residents to unload the module and fill it up with computer experiments and other items that are no longer needed on the station. And, and it literally seemed, even though you can't, it's not this easy to do, but it literally seemed all we had to do was yank on the tiller, take the right turn, and sail straight to the moon. I really understood how natural and how right space exploration, human space exploration is, and Endeavour played a big part of that. STS-134 will be Endeavour's 12th flight to the International Space Station. The memorable deliveries was its most recent, the Cupid, seven windows, offering astronauts a room with a captivating view of the home. <laughs> In 30 years, the shuttle program is coming to a close. When you look up and you see that vehicle take off the launch pad, and there's just such a sense of pride, and you feel the uh, shock waves hitting you in the chest, and it just vibrates. And it, just, it just brings a tear to your eye that you know, we're a part of that program. And then to see an endeavor go on, the last ship that I flew, and I was on my maiden voyage, and she you know, treated us so well. To see her go into space for the last time, it's going to be a real specific to their mission. Simulate. Safety and contingency. Science experiments. And underwater in the world's largest indoor room. One month later, the ETs made it to the solid rocket booster to form the backbone of the stack. Now, all that's missing is the spacecraft itself. Looking now much like it will at liftoff, a space shuttle is carried to the launch bay atop the six million pound crawler transporter at a blazing pace of less than a mile an hour. All summer long, we sang a song, and then we strolled that golden sand. Who can remember when was the very first space shuttle launch? Not in 1969, that's the first I went to. 1981, spot on, this is 30 years. Super challenge question, what day? What day? Today. No, it wasn't today. The super challenge, what day was the first space shuttle launch? I'll give you a hint. It was exactly 20 years after the launch of the first man in space. Did you know that? The, the very first guy in space and the first space shuttle were on the same day, just 20 years apart. It was not Christmas Day. I know, it was April 12th. So the first Gaia is April 12, 1961. The first space shuttle with two of them is April 12, 81. Right, how about the names of the space shuttles? Who knows the name of a space shuttle? Yeah, we got Discovery. What's the one that's going up next week? Yeah, right, Atlantis? 
challenge okay, me. That's three. A couple more to go. There's one that only flew in the atmosphere. It didn't go into space. It's the same name as a spacecraft in a TV show and in some movies. Enterprise. And it's no longer around, unfortunately. And that's Columbia. Endeavor, that's right. 